The Renaissance English History Podcast is a podcast that examines different aspects of life and events in Renaissance England. There are a lot of podcasts out there, really great ones, that go through the timeline of history. And this podcast doesn't do that. Instead, we look at different events and subjects in Renaissance England to paint a picture of what life was like through studying the time period through different lenses. The thing that's so fascinating to me about the 16th century is that it's really when England moved through the steps, starting out as a very medieval society, to shifting through and really becoming much more modern in thinking and expression. So I look at the various people and events who helped shape that, such as, for example, Francis Walsingham, who founded the first spy network in England, or the creation of the Tudor Navy and the birth of England as a sea power, or even the use of propaganda for the first time through the arts, both with painting and portraits, or even with music and theater. I try to alternate between episodes on social history and economic or military events, though many times one will overlap the other, such as with the development of the Navy and the simultaneous discovery of the blast iron furnace, which allowed for large amounts of cannonballs to be made and changed the society in the Weald of Sussex as they went through their own mini industrial revolution. I think of history as a jigsaw puzzle, and as I discuss the 16th century, I don't put it all together in a cohesive timeline fashion, the same way you don't put a jigsaw puzzle together one piece at a time in perfect order. At least I don't. Instead, I look at the big picture, which is England from 1485 to 1603, and then I take pieces of that, placing them together within the context of the larger picture of this change in society moving towards becoming a modern country. And the more pieces you add in, the more you start to discover, oh, this fits with that, that goes with this. And pretty soon the picture starts to become much clearer. If you're interested in these transitional periods in history, or even want the backstory of what was really going on in the Tudors, I invite you to listen to the Renaissance English History Podcast.